Today I'm going to show you two of the most basic tasks that you'll do time and time again in Inkscape when designing a bottle cap. First I'm going to show you how to import an image, photo, or graphic. And second I'm going to show you how to export your finished design so it's ready to upload on bottlemark.com. I'm picking up where we left off last. I'm in Inkscape. I already have a document that's one inch by one inch, any circle of the same size. Now I'm ready to add some design elements. I'm going to click on this button up here to import a bitmap or SVG image. This includes photos, and photos work great on bottle caps. Today I'm choosing a photo. I pull it up and I get to choose where on my computer what I want to use. Now since I'm from the internet, naturally I want my cat on my bottle cap. I'm going to choose to embed this photo rather than link it. Embedding it actually brings the photo into the document, whereas linking it just references the photo in its original file. While embedding makes the SVG document larger, it is the safest choice. Now, of course, my photo is huge because my canvas is so small, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and I need to resize this image. I'm going to make sure that my ratio is locked. If I were to unclick this then, and try to resize my cat, I end up with a squished kitty. No good. So make sure that is locked down so the ratio stays steady. I can resize it with my mouse, or I can also resize it here with my keyboard. And that should be about right. Click on it to move it onto our canvas. Good, and go ahead and zoom back in on the size of our document, and you can try to recenter it. Now I'm going to go up here to align and distribute and make sure that my selection is perfectly centered on the page. Perfect. I don't really like this gray color, that's pretty dull. I'm going to choose a nice red. Nice, that makes the image pop. I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of my stroke by holding down shift and clicking on the X. I get rid of that thin stroke that was around the circle. That looks a lot cleaner. Now I'm on the way to a great design, but let's go ahead and say that I'm done. I'm happy, I wanna keep it simple. I'm going to go up here to this icon, which is the opposite of import. Now I'm going to export the document. I'm going to make sure that I choose the page, and 500 DPI should be just fine. That's what we recommend for a bottle cap design. Doesn't need to be bigger. I'm going to browse to make sure I put this in the right file. I'm going to call it Tully PNG. Now I'm saying it as a PNG because PNGs are inherently superior to JPEGs. If I had any transparencies, a PNG would save it as transparent in the design, whereas a JPEG would, would uh, make all of your transparencies, change them to white. That's no good. I'm not do quite done yet. I need to make sure that I click export. I get a little thinking box. Bam, it's done. Now I'm ready to upload my very own PNG to bottlemark.com. Stay tuned for further episodes to see where we go next with this design. Thanks.